What's up everyone and welcome to another Pokemon X and Pokemon Y update. This morning we had a new Pokemon Direct premiere showing off some absolutely amazing news that pretty much speaks for itself. So let's have a look. Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard, and Mega Blastoise. That's right, the Mega Evolutions of the Kanto Starter Pokemon. Everyone asked for Mega Charizard, and Pokemon delivers with not only him, but Mega Blastoise and Mega Venusaur as well, and they all look absolutely awesome. So before getting into the details of each of these three new Mega Evolutions, let's start with talking about how you get these Pokemon. In Pokemon X and Y, your starter Pokemon from the Kalos region, Chespin, Fennekin, or Froakie, will not be given to you by the Professor, but by one of your friends instead. However, Professor Sycamore still has something for you, in the form of the starter Pokemon from the original Red and Blue games, Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. It's not said exactly when you'll be able to receive these Pokemon from the Professor, but it is heavily implied that you'll be able to start your adventure with one starter from each of the two regions, Kalos and Kanto, right from the beginning of your journey. This means you'll be able to start off with either Chespin, Fennekin, or Froakie, plus either Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. If this is true, it means that X and Y are the first Pokemon games where you'll actually be able to start with two starters right from the beginning of your journey, Chespin, Fennekin, or Froakie, plus Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. Now before going into details with each of these new evolutions, let's actually get into some overall details about Mega Evolution. For the first time in this new trailer, we see the power of the Mega Ring, a mysterious black bracelet that works together with the Mega Stone a Pokemon is holding to achieve Mega Evolution. It's Morphin' Time! It's also stated multiple times throughout this Nintendo Direct that in order to Mega Evolve, the connection between a trainer and their Pokemon is very important, perhaps implying some connection to Pokemon Happiness or some other stats. Finally, Mega Evolution is still said to be the biggest secret of the Kalos region. And sort of a minor thing I notice in this screenshot is the character is seen with short hair for the first time. Usually he's got, I guess, shoulder length hair, and it looks a little bit like red to me, and I'm not sure if this was done on purpose, but it looks really cool. Anyway, let's hop into the trailer and talk about each of these exciting new Mega Evolutions, starting with mine and probably a lot of people's personal favorite, Mega Charizard. When Charizard evolves into Mega Charizard, its points become even pointier and his wings become larger than ever to show his mastery of flight, able to reach incredible heights. With his Mega Evolution, Charizard receives a massive increase in his special attack stat and his ability becomes Drought, increasing the power of his fire type moves even further. However, his typing still remains fire and flying type, crushing the hopes of those who dreamed of a dragon type Charizard. Mega Charizard is just... Incredible! With his new Drought ability and his increased special attack, he's sure to become an even more powerful threat, and equipped with these new wings and the spikes on his head and his tail, he just looks so awesome and he's definitely now at the top of my badass Mega Pokemon list. Alright, sticking in order of my personal favorites from these three new Pokemon, let's talk about Mega Blastoise up next. Complete with his gigantic Mega Cannon on his back and Mini Cannon strapped to his hands, this is absolutely my favorite looking of the trio. Mega Blastoise receives a brand new ability appropriately named Mega Launcher, which will boost the power of pulse moves, such as Water Pulse and Dark Pulse. He retains his just water typing, and while it's not stated which stat exactly gets increased, my best guess would be Special Attack. Finally, we see him here using the starter signature move Hydro Cannon, which, strangely enough, comes out of his mouth and not his cannon. I don't even know. Anyway, we move on to the final and equally awesome Mega Venusaur. When Venusaur Mega evolves, the strange flower on its back is injected with super growth formula, becoming more luscious and majestic than ever before, and Venusaur himself becomes bulkier to support this huge new flower. Mega Venusaur receives an increase in his defense and special defense stats, and receives the ability Thick Fat, making him more resistant to his weaknesses in Ice and Fire type. All of these combined make him an even more powerful stalling tank than ever before. He's also shown here using the signature starter move Frenzy Plant, just like Blastoise before using Hydro Cannon and Charizard using Blast Burn. 
All three of these new Mega Evolutions look absolutely amazing. As I mentioned, Charizard's definitely my favorite, just because I've used Charizard so much throughout the past that I guess there's just a lot of nostalgia going into it. He just looks absolutely awesome. Blastoise, I think, is my favorite looking-wise, just because, look at him, he's got a giant Mega Cannon strapped to his back, and... I mean, for some reason he doesn't shoot out of it, but he still looks awesome. And of course, Venusaur, whose plant grows even bigger, and he himself becomes apparently over 100 pounds heavier. So they all just look awesome, and I'm so excited to see this in action. Of course, they all have their brand new abilities, with Mega Venusaur receiving Thick Fat, making him even more resistant to, I guess, his only weakness in Ice and Fire type. He was already kind of that Pokemon that I just kind of tanked with and used Toxic and Leech Seed with, so he'll be able to do that even more effectively now, and of course, he's got that Frenzy Plant going on. Um, Blastoise is actually kind of curious, receiving the ability, a new ability actually, called Mega Launcher, and as I said, it boosts the Pulse type moves, which... I know there's Water Pulse, which he can definitely learn, so that might be beneficial, but then I don't think he can learn Dark Pulse or Dragon Pulse, which are the other two I know of, um, so he'll probably learn those in X and Y, considering that's his new Mega ability, um, and I think Heal Pulse is also a new one from Gen 5, so not sure what's up with his ability. It seems kind of like a strange choice, but uh, I mean, he's got a giant cannon on his back. What more could you ask for? And of course, there's also Charizard with Drought, which... Uh, we already know how my Ninetales with Drought does in uh, Sacred Gold Nuzlocke, so a Charizard with Drought just seems like a very, very strong thing. He's gonna wreck some faces. I also love that they each seem to have a different focus, whether that be making the Pokemon faster, deadlier, or bulkier looking. And with the reveal of these new Mega Evolutions and Mega Blaziken a few weeks back, it's becoming more and more apparent that all starter Pokemon will eventually receive Mega Evolutions. Of course, this still isn't 100% confirmed, but it's looking pretty likely to me. And with these new details, I propose a question to you guys. Which starter Pokemon are you most looking forward to Mega Evolving? Personally, I'm just really excited to get to see Mega Charizard in action, but as for one that we haven't seen yet, I'd like to see Swampert receive a Mega Evolution too. So definitely let me know what you guys would like to see down in the comments below. As for me, that is going to be it for this video. I'm super excited and that excitement only grows with every new feature or detail reveal for these games. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.